Hey there, fellow coders. Welcome back to AutoGPT Tutorials. Today, I have some thrilling news to share with you all. There's a new AI coding assistant in Coding World, and trust me, it's a game changer. In this video, I'll guide you through the process of installing and running this remarkable AI coding assistant on your system. But that's not all. We'll also explore how this assistant can help you create entire AI applications with ease. So, whether you're a seasoned developer or just starting your coding journey, this video is packed with valuable insights for everyone. Imagine having an AI-powered assistant by your side, helping you write code, suggesting optimization, and even catching potential bugs. It's like having your very own coding superhero. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how to harness this power. So, grab your coding gear, get ready to explore the future of coding, and let's dive right in. First you go to Ader GitHub page. Link available in the description. Ader is GPT-powered coding in your terminal. Ader is GPT-powered coding in your terminal. Ader is a command-line chat tool that allows you to write and edit code with OpenAI's GPT models. You can ask GPT to help you start a new project or modify code in your existing Git repo. Ader makes it easy to get commit, diff and undo changes proposed by GPT without copy slash pasting. It also has features that help GPT-4 understand and modify larger code bases. Watch the full demo video here. Getting started process. Check all example chat transcripts using Ader. Aid her important features. Chat with GPT about your code by launching Aider from the command line with set of source files to discuss and edit together. Aider lets GPT see and edit the content of those files. Request new features, changes, improvements, or bug fixes to your code. Ask for new test cases, updated documentation, or code refactors. Ader will apply the edits suggested by GPT directly to your source files. Ader will automatically commit each change set to your local Git repo with a descriptive commit message. These frequent, automatic commits provide a safety net. It's easy to undo changes or use standard Git workflows to manage longer sequences of changes. You can use Ader with multiple source files at once, so GPT can make coordinated code changes across all of them in a single change set slash commit. Ader can give GPT-4 a map of your entire Git repo, which helps it understand and modify large code bases. You can also edit files by hand using your editor while chatting with Ader. Ader will notice these out-of-band edits and ask if you'd like to commit them. This lets you bounce back and forth between the Ader chat and your editor to collaboratively code with GPT. Installation process. Use GPT-4 versus GPT-3.5 models. So let's move to installation process. Install the package. First, I will start my Visual Studio Code Editor. Open a new terminal window. Open command prompt. First, I will create a Python virtual environment using this command. Conda create n air python equals 3.11.3 .3 and enter now. Now. 
activate this environment using this command, so I copy and paste here. My new environment start right now. So let's move to GitHub page and start installation. Install Ader chat package using this command, so I copy and paste in my terminal. After install the Ader package, move to your next command. Set up your OpenAI API key using this command, so I copy and paste in my terminal. If you use Linux or Mac OS, then use export keyword for your OpenAI API key, but if you use Window, then use set keyword. I use Window OS, so I input set OpenAI API key. I go to my OpenAI dashboard and create a new API key. Go to Account tab View API key and create new API key. Copy API and paste in my terminal. After set up my API key, I move to my next step. And use Ader. Run the Ader tool by executing the following command. Ader space your file name. For example, in my case, I don't have any file so first I will create a new file app.py and run Ader command using this file. Using command Ader app.py API key does not support GPT-4, filing back to GPT-3.5 Turbo 16K. Check your project details. For example model, GPT-3.5 Turbo 16K. Git repo, none. Ramp map disabled. Project file app.py. More info use slash help command. So let's start creating your application using your prompt. For example, I create a AI assistant chat app, so input, create a AI assistant chat app. To create an AI assistant chat app, you will need to write code in multiple files. Could you please provide the names and contents of the files you have already created? I create a new file for my application. So input create a new file main.py. My new mained .py file created with my AI assistant code. Next I will create a AI assistant response message function using OpenAI API. So I input create AI assistant response using OpenAI API GPT 3.5 turbo model. My AI assistant update my main.py file with a new OpenAI API calling function. I will set my OpenAI API using this prompt. Set OpenAI API key and paste my API key. My API key update successfully. In my OpenAI API call AI Assistant use text DaVinci 003 to I update this model with GPT 3.5 Turbo model. 
Using this command, change response engine text DaVinci 003 with GPT 3.5 Turbo model. My response function update with GPT 3.5 Turbo model. Next, I will create my application user interface using Streamlit. So I input create a user interface using Streamlit. My application user interface created using Streamlit. Next, I will create a requirement .txt file for my application requirement decencies. Using this prompt, create a requirements .txt file. My requirement .txt file create. I open my file and check my all requirement dependencies. Open I and Streamlit. I remove my decencies version details. My application main file and requirement.txt file ready. So next, I will run my application in my browser. So I open a new terminal and open command prompt. Activate my Python virtual environment using conda activate adair command. Next, I will install my requirement dependencies using this command pip install our requirement.txt and enter now. Sorry for my input mistake, I retry using this command pip install our requirement.txt and enter now. After install my all requirement dependencies. Next, I will run my application using streamlit command. Input streamlit run main.py and enter now. Allow firewall access. I face an issue, so I copy this issue and move to my terminal. Reopen my Ader chat terminal tab and edit my file. And paste my issue and recreate my code without this chatbot module. My code edited, so I move to my browser and rerun my application. My application AI Assistant chat app runs successfully, but I face one more issue. So copy this issue and paste in my terminal and re-edit my code. My code updated. So my to my browser and rerun my program. Okay, my application ready. Next, I will create a new input section for my user. If any of my user use my this application, then first input over own API key. So I move to my terminal. And input a new prompt, create a user input API key in GUI and enter now.
my new API key input section created. So I move to my browser and rerun my application. Enter your OpenAI API key. So I copy my API key and paste here. So after input my API key, I don't see any authentication error. So let's my application is ready, if you use this application, first, you input your own API key. Application link available in the description, so check and use now. You use this AI assistant and create any type of software and application very easy. Conclusion And that wraps up our tutorial on the new AI coding assistant. I hope you found this video informative and exciting. Just imagine the possibilities that this AI-powered tool brings to your coding journey. With this assistant, you'll not only save time and effort, but also enhance your coding skills and productivity. Whether you're working on a personal project or building complex AI applications, this tool will be your trusted companion every step of the way. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow coders. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to AutoGPT tutorials for more AI-related content, coding tips, and tech tutorials. If you have any questions or need further assistance with the AI Coding Assistant, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll be happy to help you out. Thank you for watching, and until next time, happy coding and may your AI applications soar to new heights.